Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. In today's video, we're gonna get out in this field. This was my potato field that I planted in February last year and it did tremendous. It's on a hillside, slopes down. I can't just disc this whole field in its entirety and expect for a big rain to come and not wash away my dirt. So I had to plant this in strips and leave strips of grass between the potatoes. And that's what I'm gonna do today. As you can see, when I disc my potatoes out, I come back with soybeans. There's still a lot of soybeans hanging. The deer ate a ton of them. And I even harvested a deer in the earliest part of both season in this field. And that was great, but now it's time to disc this stuff in. Last year, you watched me plant a very odd crop in that field over there of crimson clover in January, and it did great. It's February now. Today is actually February the 6th. You'll be watching this a few weeks later, I know. February the 6th, we're gonna be putting clover in the ground and we're gonna see how that does. I'm gonna put it in strips. I'm gonna leave strips of grass. And I'm telling you in the end of May, middle of May, we're gonna be coming in here and putting rows of corn where we had the potatoes. And we're gonna have intermittent rows of soybeans that we do later in the summer, just like we did in the field up there where we did the purple pride corn and we had it spaced out with soybeans in between. We'll do that again. Maybe create a habitat to get another deer next post season. So we're gonna get in here and disc this up and get some clover in the ground. I love using the old solo spreader. We'll be using it here very soon. Crimson clover seed, hauled it over here and let's go. reason why I plant clover. I have learned that if I plant crimson clover and plow it in when it's in full bloom, that I don't have to put nitrogen or any other fertilizer on my corn and it'll grow up to 15 feet tall. Obviously the height has to do with the specific kind of corn I'm growing, but you can't do that without some pretty good fertilizer in the ground. So basically this 50 pounds of clover is going to fertilize this two acre field and it's gonna be doing good, I hope. All I can say is, we will see. There's other kinds of 
variables such as weather conditions. But right now the soil is nice and damp. I'll show you right here. It's February. We've only had maybe four days since the last rain. And look at this. Nice. That has to do with the hillside. It has to do with all the grass that's intermingled. And it has to do with the soybeans that are here and the soil type. It wasn't too long ago back in the summer that you helped me, Challenge Farm All Fanatic, to plant crimson clover. Now I've never been so proud of anybody in my life as proud as I was of you for helping me do that because together we put the pressure on him and I believe he's gonna do it. Now he didn't do it in the fall like I would recommend, but he knows his conditions. He knows how harsh his winters are. He knows his soil type. He knows all that. So we're just gonna leave him alone on that. Now I had 10 below and you can see my clover over there is still fine. It hurt it a little bit, but it's it's got a jump on this, what I'm fixing to put out. But Farm All Fanatic is gonna put out some crimson clover and I can't wait to see how it does for him. I hope it does well because if it don't do good, he could say it didn't work. And I don't want him to say it didn't work. I want him to say, wow, that's amazing. So let's get this in the ground. I use my solo spreader. This right here, I've got this listed in the description of every video I put out because it is so good. If you've ever tried the cedars that have the bags on them, plastic gears. Now these are plastic, but for some reason they don't strip out. I bought brand new Earthway, stripped out the first day I used it. Unbelievable. This has got a 20 pound capacity. We've got our clover seeds here. I'm just going to fill this baby to the brim. Just like that. These seeds are coated, so I believe we're in good shape. We're going to throw this baby up here. We're going to grab it. You just pull this lever right here just a little bit, and it opens her up, and away we go. You can clearly see I left strip. We're going to lay this on it. This is clearly the most physical part of the job. I gotta walk up and down these rows. There's only like 19 rows. I'm gonna go up and down through there and I have to pick up and carry the mail because I don't want this to run out. Of course, I can adjust and slow down the feed, but I need to get done with it because I got more things to do today. And I got this. Ain't gonna hurt me a bit to work, to walk, to stride, to pick it up and lay it down. Let's do it.
was enough. Look at that. That's it. <laughs> I got lucky. I don't know if you call it lucky. Because it seems like to get lucky, you got to work hard. But here we go. It's all planted. This time of year, it's cold. It's not going to dry out. not going to get hot on it. It's going to rain on it here in about three or four days. And going to seed it in good. Never had a problem with it. I don't have to disc it in, pack it, or nothing. Wee boy. Always feels good to have a job like this done. I cannot wait to show you, come May or June, what this looks like. And I'm going to plow it in. My disc throws out, so I've got places, perfect places to set my plow, plow in, fill all that back in. It's perfect. Perfect setup. Look forward to sharing it with you. But for now, I got to get to the house because I got wild hogs that's got to be canned in jars. So I hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.